Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Hector, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Pretty tight, but... Um, but it's Friday. With the fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. Uh, that, yes. Mm -hmm. So, any plans for the weekend? Um, not much. Continue with my, you know, my thesis, teacher. Really? I have a lot. Yes. What's your thesis about? What? Sorry, sorry. What's What's your thesis about? It's about um, how say environment service. Environment. Service. Environment service, uh huh. Ah, that sounds interesting. Ah, but it does a lot, a lot work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I can imagine that. Uh, but you can do it. Don't give up. Hey, thank you, teacher. Thank Very you. Very good. I appreciate your energy. <laughs> I try. The secret. Do you want to know what the secret is? What is secret? Coffee. Coffee is your best friend. <laughs> ah, good. Yeah. Good. Why not? Okay. Okay. I can I can get this medicine. Do it. A hundred percent effective. Definitely. Thank you, Teach. All right, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm tired, teacher. Tired too? Yes. Yeah, I imagine. I, today I had a problem with my computer at work. Okay, really? So I I, I have uh, extra work for tomorrow. Oh my gosh. So you are not going to have a nice week and you will have a lot of work. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> what can we do, teacher? <laughs> All right. And let's see. How about you, everyone? How do you feel tonight? It's Friday. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's Friday. We are great. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. You look different. I mean, last yeah. night, <laughs> last night you were like, oh, but yeah. look at you now. Now you look like exciting, like happy, like we are about to go to the party, right? <laughs> what are your plans for the weekend? Take a rest. <laughs> 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 it's my plan. <laughs> I mean, that's a good plan. And you yeah. guys? Uh huh. What are your plans for the weekend? Anyone? I, I mean, it's impossible to take a rest because I have two kids, but I will try. <laughs> <laughs> but will you work? No. Ah, uh -huh, so yeah, mm -hmm. okay, that's great. <laughs> uh -huh, everyone, how about you? I have to work, teacher. Only work. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, me too. So, but. Look at this. How about the platform? Do you plan to work on the platform tomorrow or during Sunday? No, we don't have plans. Yes, for the platform. of course. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Definitely, right? <laughs> All right. So everyone, we are going to start. And if you feel like a little sleepy, coffee, that's the medicine. All right. I'm glad you are here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for the one who has the camera on. The other ones, why don't you have the camera on? Come on, I want to see you. Now it's Friday, okay? So we have a lot of things to do. We have a lot of practice for today. So I hope you're ready to participate, okay? 
What was the topic that we studied yesterday? Do you remember? Uh-huh, anyone, do you remember? So you don't remember? Yes, they compare the the they compare distribution options and we we review a superlative and comparative mm -hmm. forms. Uh huh. Very good. And what was the comparative form that we studied yesterday? If I want to say that both things are like equal in a certain way. As you have to ask at uh, the as. beginning and at the end, the phrase in the middle of the, when you compare two things. Mm -hmm. Very good. The, of the, the, the sentence you have to add as at the beginning and then at the, at the end. The, That's it. The, the verb. <laughs> uh -huh. Do I need to change the adjective? No. Like no, because no. it's equal. In equal, no. Ah, very good. So if you see, that's it. That is basically what we studied yesterday. So we are going to practice a little bit today, but we are going to see a different topic too. Now, um, let me start sharing the presentation. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I do. Oh my gosh, Ivan is so young. <laughs> 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 Look, Ivan, Ivan beca be became a, a kid. <laughs> Is your son? Uh -huh. Is that your son, Ivan? No, no. <laughs> Who is? It's okay, it's okay. I'm what? five. What is your name? You're five. Tell me, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> so what's, cute. <laughs> what's what's your name? Um, Isaac. Isaac. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. Isaac, you are so handsome, pretty boy. Isaac, is Ivan your father? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> okay, so Tell beautiful. Tío. Soy tu tío. Oh, is Ivan Tell your me. uncle? Yeah. Ah, pretty good. <laughs> okay. All right. He told good. he told better on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He will speak better than okay. him. Okay. 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 You are very bad. <laughs> I know. Dude, who are you? <laughs> who are you? Who I are am, you? I am Clarissa. I am your <laughs> uncle's teacher. It's my teacher. <laughs> so Isaac, <laughs> you will be my new student, all You're right? You're crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great job. Okay. So Ivan, you should practice with him. He can teach you. <laughs> yes. It's a blessing. It's a blessing in my house. Definitely. Talking, uh, talking in my. And he oh. he's very fluent. That's great. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's oh terrific, boys. <laughs> I liked it. Isaac, how old are you? Uh huh. Two years Five. old? Five or four? <laughs> All right, that's great. So, <laughs> definitely, Ivan, you should practice with him, he can teach okay. you. <laughs> All right, excellent. So guys, if you have kids 
I mean, since they are very young, you can start teaching them. I mean, when they are kids, it's so easy to learn the language. When you are older, it's a little bit more difficult. So if you have kids, let's start teaching them. All right? right. Now, can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 Great. Okay, so today is May 19th. Continuing the week number one. Basically, guys, today uh, we are going to finish the week number one. So imagine one week is gone very fast. So be careful with the platform. All right. Just a reminder. I could see that some of you already started. So that's great. For the one who hasn't, please do it, do it. Now, this is the topic that we are going to discuss today. Provide suggestions using expressions of certainty. Do you remember the expressions of certainty? Yes? Yes, like yes, of, of course. course. <laughs> certainty. Uh-huh. Yeah, very good. Wrong friend. Wrong friend. So be careful with the microphones, everyone. Okay, so I hope you remember the topic because we are going to use these, um, these expressions, but when you want to give suggestions, I'm going to give you some scenarios and you have to provide me some suggestions about what I can do, but using these expressions. Also, today we are going to learn some other phrases that you can use when you don't feel pretty sure about something, okay? So be careful with the expressions. You have to memorize them and try to use it. Now, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. <laughs> By the end of the class, participants will be able to provide suggestions to different scenarios using some expressions of certainty. Thank you. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Now, before starting, let's remember a little bit the comparative form that we studied yesterday. So, okay, in this case, if I have short adjectives, what do I need to do if I want to compare? Uh-huh. You need to add ER. That's great. Do I need to add the word more if there is a short adjective? No. No. Do I need to add the article the if it no. is comparative adjective? No? No. No. Definitely. Very good. Now, how about if I'm talking about superlatives? What do I need to do? We have to add the N E S T in the end. Perfect. That's great. Now, what is the difference between comparative and superlative? What's the, the difference? difference. The difference consists in comparatives, they are compared to things. In superlatives, you have to, you are saying, you are saying one thing is in, in other level, in superior level. That's uh, correct. In relationship with the first one. Correct, exactly. So that is the difference. Okay, so if you are not comparing two things, don't use the comparative form. Can I say uh, the Real Madrid is the better? Can I say that? Uh, the best. No. In this case, if you see, I'm not comparing. I don't have the other object. The other object what I comparing with. I'm just saying one thing that is Real Madrid. In that case, it's not comparative, it's superlative, all right? Now, what happens with the opposite? I have long adjectives. So what do I need to do with them? Uh-huh. You need to add more. 
in comparative and most and superlative. Perfect. And if I'm using long adjectives, do I need to add always the article da or it's not necessary? It's not necessary. Are you sure? It's necessary. It's necessary, are you sure? <laughs> uh huh. What is the correct one? For superlative. Uh huh. In the superlative. Look, the question is this: If I am using long adjective in the superlative, do I always need the article da or not? In so. Are you sure? Not teacher. It's I'm necessary. sure. <laughs> necessary. It's necessary. Are you sure? Yes, you have yes. to say yes, the most is. creative, the most popular, the most yes. handsome, the most beautiful, etc. That is the one, guys. Yeah. And and I like Magdaleno's confidence. That's what I expect. Very good. Look, every time it doesn't matter what kind of adjective you are using, if it is superlative. We always use the article the, okay? El Salvador is the most beautiful country, okay? But if it is a short adjective, I have to use that too. El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America. Always the article the, okay? Now, what happens with the irregular adjectives? Good. What is the superlative form of good? Better. Mm, superlative. Ah, okay. Best. Is best. Oh. What is the superlative of bad? Worse. That's it. Okay. So everyone, is it clear the way that we can compare with short and long adjectives? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Ready for an exam? <laughs> of ready, course. Ready. It's in <laughs> ready, silent. Ready. Come on. Add it to it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Excellent. You see, that's what I want to see. Confidence. You know, I wish. <laughs> I wish we could have like speaking evaluations here in the class. It will be interesting. Don't you think that? Or not? <laughs> Ain't nobody say anything. Come on, guys. You have to say, yes, teacher, let's do it. My gosh. But maybe we Go do for that. It. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Only one. My gosh. Extra point for you, Eric Aoi. Okay. <laughs> No, but honestly, yes, it did have a term. yeah, we should, right? <laughs> Maybe well, not an exam, but we can pretend like um like an interview, you know, and I can ask mm. you different questions about different topics. Maybe, maybe I'll do it. I don't know when, but maybe I'll do it. So be ready, guys. All right. Great. Now, <laughs> now, what happens if I want to compare two things that are equal in some way? Do you remember as adjective as? Yes. 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 I remember. David is as tall as Dan. They are the same. Can I do it in negative? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's... Is, is not. Ah, it's very so good. Tall. David is not as tall as Dan. Cool. So in this case, isn't as tall as Dan. Let's compare. Let's see. Let's compare Mexico with United States. You can use negatives. Okay. Go ahead. Give me sentences comparing Mexico with the United States. You can use as plus adjective as or in negative as and as. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. You are ready for the exam? We can invent. Of course. 
And then Mex mm, Mexican people as crazy. M Mexican people is crazy. No, Mexican people is as crazy as United States people. <laughs> I like that. But can I say people is? No, it's people uh, are. It's plural. Are. Are. One point less. <laughs> but that's a good sentence. Excellent. Uh huh. What else? United States is as dangerous as the as Mexico City. As dangerous as Mexico? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. I invented. <laughs> but no. I think that is true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh huh. How about in negatives? Could be huh. American food isn't as delicious as Mexican food. That's a good one. Very good. I like that. Uh huh. Who else? Who else? Use United your imagination. States, uh huh. United States isn't big, isn't as big as Mexico. I know. You, sorry. I, I, the opposite. <laughs> the opposite. Yes. Uh huh. Repeat the sentence. Yeah. Mexico isn't as big as the United States. Perfect. Excellent job, guys. So you see, we can compare things in affirmative or in negatives. Mm -hmm. Just remember, if you are using this structure, the adjective doesn't need changes. Okay, mm -hmm. and if you want to say it in negative, you just need to add the word not because we are using the verb mm -hmm. to be. Now, can I use this structure with nouns? What do you think? Can I use it with nouns? Countables and uncountables, what do you think? Do you remember? Yes. Okay, if I want to use countables, what is the structure? As many. As many, and then the noun, and then as. Okay, so we can say El Salvador has as many, I don't know, as many beaches as Guatemala, for example. Yeah. Right? And how about if it is uncountable? It's what much. Is much. That much. is the only difference. Right. As much, right. noun, right. as. Okay? So that is the structure that we can follow. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? It's clear. Yep. All right. So on your manuals, you can see some examples about this structure. Okay, in affirmative and in negative. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the first example. Getting in the right. Hello, teacher. Yes, please. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> getting the, the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. That's the one. What is the pronunciation of this word? <clears throat> Important. 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 So the stress is where? Important, important, or important? Where is the stress? Important. Uh -huh. Important. Important. Okay. Important. Important. Very good. Volunteer for reading the next example, please. Be careful with the microphones. Uh huh. Who wants to read the next one, please? I want to read the chat. Oh, oh, girl fears. No, no, sorry, Magdalena. No, go, go, go. No. no. <laughs> I okay. have more. I have more examples. You sorry. are so polite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, the company adds as much value to distribution as they can. That's it. So you see, they are talking about equal things. Now, what happens if I'm comparing two things, but they are not so equal? I can use the negative form. 
Okay, Magdalena, read the next example, please. My distributors, is that the pronunciation? That's correct. My distributors, <laughs> my distributors are not as fast as the ones you partnered with. That's it, very good. So you see, negative. You just need to add the word not. The last one, volunteer for reading the last example, please. Me one. Thank you, Nelson, go ahead. The cheapest transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in the advertising. Advertising. Advertising, thank you, That's teacher. Very good, so you see, negative, and the adjective doesn't change, okay? We are going to complete now some exercises, but first I'm going to check attendance. If you listen to your names, say present. Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay. Carlos Abrego. Present. Good. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Present. Good. Um, Fatima Denise. Fatima Denise, not? Okay. Um, Herman Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. <laughs> Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Okay. Ivan Guzman. Present. Okay. Uh, Jamie Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Holman Giron. Uh -huh. Holman Giron. Ah, okay, very good. Uh -huh. uh, Lucy Juarez. Present. Okay. Uh, Magdalena Escalante. No te queda, no te queda. Present. Okay. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. All right. Um, Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. Okay. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. All right, excellent. Thank you guys. Now let's continue. We are going to resolve some sentences using the structure as plus the adjective as. These sentences are on your manuals. So let's resolve it. In the first one, we need to put, uh, to put the words in order. For example, it says, help you produce as retailers, as wholesalers much profit. Huh, so what do you think? What would be the correct sentence? Look, retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. How about the number two? Hmm, will be delivered as, as the payment is received the shipment soon. <laughs> what would be the correct sentence here? What do you think? For me, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. All right, everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yes? Yes. Are, are you sure? Yes, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I don't have any <laughs> doubt about it. Thank you. I'm positive. <laughs> use the phrases. All right. Use the phrases. So the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. I know that some people were working on this exercise on the platform. So just remember, if you have to type, don't forget to add punctuation symbols, that's important. Be careful that you write completely the sentence, every single letter. At the contrary, one letter is wrong, everything is wrong, okay? Number three, as a storage capacity is as expensive production transportation. Huh, what will be the sentence here?
in my in my opinion is uh, product transportation product transportation is as expensive as a storage capacity all right everybody what do you think i agree yes yes, yes i agree all right, product transportation is as expensive as a storage capacity. I like that. Number four, what would be the answer? Efficiency as others, some channel distribution strategies are not us. What do you think? Can I push it? We'll try. Of course, go ahead. Some channel distribution strategies are not as efficient as others. Hmm, so we have a negative sentence here. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, of course. Yes, <laughs> I like the attitude. So that is the one. Pronunciation, strategies. Strager, sorry. Strager. Strager. Very good. Uh-huh. And the last one. Profitable as selling our digital courses is not us through a store distributing them online. Uh -huh. Hmm. What do you think? Selling or digital courses through a store is not a, is not as profitable as distributing them online. All right, everyone. Yes or not? Absolutely agree. <laughs> Very good. Selling our digital courses through a store is not as profitable as distributing them online nice job very good so again these sentences are on your platform for the one who has some doubts of it again don't forget if you're going to type don't forget the last point don't forget capital letter at the beginning don't forget sometimes one letter is wrong and that's why your answer is wrong any questions so far everybody about this structure using as to compare equally Nope. Just the question, it's profitable, profitable, profitable. <laughs> <laughs> profitable. <laughs> profitable, okay. Good. All right. Any other questions that you may have? Teacher. Go ahead. Could you give more example, but with the longer sentences? Which, which one? Affirmative or negative? Whatever you want. Okay, let's do it. Let me open up the whiteboard. Okay, we can say, well, let's do it together. I'm going to start the sentence and you finish it. I'm going to write it here. Starting, oops, oops, oops. A new language at, how old are you guys? How, okay, at 15. 27 years, <laughs> 15, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, studying new languages at seven, uh, 27 years old is as, ta, 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 as learning when you are hmm, 10 years old old or let's change it or when you are in your teens so this is a long sentence you just need to tell me which adjective do i need to put to complete the sentence what do you think can i say it in affirmative or do you want to change it to negative you decide how can you complete the sentence Maybe difficult. Okay. 
can I keep it in affirmative or do I need to change it in negative? Affirmative is affirmative. Fine. Okay, look, studying new languages at 27 years old is as difficult as learning when you are in your teens. Look, this is a very long sentence. Yes? Do you need more examples? Yes, okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, listen, we can use it, guys, in every sentence, every type of sentences, not only in simple present, but also in future. Okay? For example, let's think in another one. Mm -hmm. Traveling uh, during holidays. Now let's try with negative. It's not as ta -ta 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 -ta, as traveling during. Um, what can I say? During uh, office office week, <laughs> okay, or office time. So what can I complete here? What, uh, which adjective can I use? Funny teacher. Okay, sounds good. Look, we can say funny. funny. Because <laughs> oh. I kid, I kid. <laughs> Very good. So, because remember, when you travel during holidays, most of the places are crowded. If you take an airplane, it's difficult to find like good prices. It's very expensive. It's very crowded. So it's not so fun. Then when you travel in a day that is not holidays, okay? So. Again, you can use it in all type of scenarios, not only in simple present, but also in past, in future, in all the grammar tenses that you prefer. Understood? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Any question, guys? No more questions? Okay, pretty not good. Not yet, teacher. Not yet, maybe during the exam. Uh -huh. Now. Let's practice listening, okay? I have here a conversation. You are going to listen to some people talking about different scenarios. And I want you to pay attention and tell me what is the correct adjective that they use to complete the sentences, okay? Now, everybody, microphones off, please. Microphones off. Mm -hmm. You can write the sentence, I mean, or the answer in your notebooks, and then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. Let's imagine that this is an exam. So I expect very good score, okay? So let's do it. If you don't listen to the audio, please just let me know. Conversation one. How is your new job? Okay, but it is not as fun as my last job. Oh, really? Why? Well, there are not as many social events, and it is not as chill as my last job. Oh, no, that's too bad. What about pay and benefits? I earn about as much as before, but I had better benefits. Well, so it's not all bad. Conversation 2. I hear you got a new house. I did. We just moved in last week. How is it? Good. It is not as big as my last place, but it is cheaper. How is the neighborhood? It is not as convenient as my last place, but I like it. Conversation 3. Can you pick up my friend at the airport? I have to work tonight. Sure, I can do that. What does he look like? Well, he's about as tall as me, and he has blonde hair. It's the same color as mine. Wow, he sounds like your twin. No, I'm not nearly as handsome as he is. 
You'll see. I'll be the judge of that. Conversation four. How's the new cafe? Not good. It's not as good as the last one. How are the prices? About the same, but the coffee is not as good as before. Oh no! I'm bummed to hear that. There is one good thing, though. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, because the quality has dropped off, it's not nearly as crowded as before, so it's easy to find a seat. Well, at least that's good. All right, everybody. Do you have the answers? Uh huh. Everyone? Yes. I don't have the first one. Okay. And you guys, do you have the answers, or do you need to listen it to one more time? Please listen. Okay. One more please. Time, please. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Microphones off, please. Pay attention. Remember, they are going to say different sentences. So check the sentence that is on the whiteboard and try to identify the adjective. Microphones off, here we go. Conversation one. How is your new job? Okay, but it is not as fun as my last job. Oh really, why? Well, there are not as many social events, and it is not as chill as my last job. Oh no, that's too bad. What about pay and benefits? I earn about as much as before, but I had better benefits. Well, so it's not all bad. Conversation two. I hear you got a new house. I did. We just moved in last week. How is it? Good. It is not as big as my last place, but it is cheaper. How is the neighborhood? It is not as convenient as my last place, but I like it. Conversation three. Can you pick up my friend at the airport? I have to work tonight. Sure, I can do that. What does he look like? Well, he's about as tall as me, and he has blonde hair. It's the same color as mine. Wow, he sounds like your twin. No, I'm not nearly as handsome as he is. You'll see. I'll be the judge of that. Conversation four. How's the new cafe? Not good. It's not as good as the last one. How are the prices? About the same, but the coffee is not as good as before. Oh no! I'm bummed to hear that. There is one good thing, though. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, because the quality has dropped off, it's not nearly as crowded as before, so it's easy to find a seat. Well, at least that's good. Uh huh. How about now? Do you have the answers? Yes, I am. We caught. <laughs> <laughs> all right i hope so right I so remember so. imagine that this is the exam so we have the first one she says that uh, the new job is not as ta -ta 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 -ta, as his last job fun In my opinion is easy stressful. easy easy how about easy. you guys it's, it's fun because fun. she says that they doesn't have enough social events, so yeah. it's fun. Okay, okay. Fun. I hear fun. <laughs> you heard fun. Fun. <laughs> fun. Fun. Well, let me tell you that the correct answer is. Da, 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 da. It's fun. Yes. Very good. Now in the number two. A second conversation, she says her new place is not as convenient. 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 Right. Convenient. 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 Okay, that was easy, right? In the yes. number three, 
Uh, he says he's not as what? Handsome. 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 Handsome as his friend. Good job. And the last one, uh, the new cafe is not as crowded. 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 crowded as the last cafe. Good job. So if you see four different conversations in all of the scenarios, they talk using that structure. So you can use them in all the conversations that you have. Got it? Yes? Yes, of course. Excellent. How many correct answers do you have? All of them. Great. I have three. All right. So far, so good. Uh -huh. And the rest of you, did you pass the exam? Oh, Only good. three. Only three sentences. All right. Okay. So far, so good. Now, we already have grammar exam, listening exam. It's time to practice speaking exam. Okay. Now, I have two scenarios and I want you to use this structure as as, but also I want you to use the comparative or the superlative form. So we are going to use everything. Even I want you to try to use as many plus a noun, or if it is uncountable, as much as the noun, okay? Scenario number one, imagine that you have a friend from Europe, okay? And your friend wants to visit this country. He, uh, your friend wants to visit El Salvador. I want you to recommend him or her which places or cities or areas in El Salvador that person should visit and also which places that person should avoid. <laughs> so explain them the reason why using comparatives, superlatives, or you can use equality, okay? For example, you can say, El Salvador is so beautiful, of course, you can come, you can visit El Tunco Beach because that's the most popular beach here in El Salvador. Uh, but I don't recommend you to go to which place? What do you think? <laughs> uh, some people say that it's safer now. Well, that was some people say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, imagine you can say that. So I don't recommend you to visit da -da 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 -da, because it's more dangerous than or because it's the most ta -ta 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 place in El Salvador. Okay, so I'm using both. Now you can say, uh, you can stay in San Salvador or you can stay in La Libertad because San Salvador is as popular as La Libertad or the weather in San Salvador is as fresh as in La Libertad, so both are the same. The restaurants are so delicious as in San Salvador or ta -da 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 -da. I don't know, so try to mention using the places. And then you can also tell them the time when they should come. If you want to visit El Salvador, I recommend you to come in December maybe because in December it's not as hot as in July, for example, or as in April. I don't know, you just try to use sentences using comparatives, superlatives or equality adjectives. Is it clear? Yes? Totally. Okay, this is similar like a role play. So you have to pretend that your classmate is your friend from Europe so you can ask questions. Now, the second scenario, this is what I want you to do too. I want you to compare San Salvador with La Libertad Department, okay? They might be similar in some aspect and they might be some a little bit different in another aspect. So you can use as in affirmative or in negative and you can use it with nouns. 
So for example, San Salvador has as many restaurants as La Libertad. That's just an example. You can say it in negative, you can use uncountables too. Is it clear how the speaking is going to be about? Yes? Se entiende everyone? Yep. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> no, come on. Next, after the speaking practice with your classmates, I'm going to ask you. So I recommend you that during the breaking rooms, do your best because later I will be the one that is going to interview you, okay? I'm going to send these instructions on WhatsApp's group so you can read them, do your best, listen to your classmates' ideas so you can have many ideas when I ask you, okay? Now, I already sent it on WhatsApp's group. Let's create the teams. Please, everybody, enter to the breaking rooms and try to participate. Sometimes I have teams like four people, but only one is able to participate. That hasn't been like that. Okay, let's go to practice, zero Spanish and follow the structure. Let's go. Ivan. Hello, Hector. How are you, my friend? Hey, okay. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, I don't know. A teacher chair the yes, I I I have I have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looking it's looking good. for looking for the WhatsApp group. Okay, okay, I got I got it. But I ah, have a problem with my computer. I need a new computer. <laughs> new computer? <laughs> yeah. For, for play, it's prefer is play. Okay. Your friend, your friend, your friend. <laughs> Come from to Europe, want to visit Europe. your country. Sorry? Yeah. Uh -huh. Recommend which place, cities, or areas should be about, hmm? avoided? Avoided. Avoided. Mm -hmm. Describe it using comparative, superlative, or equality adjective. Okay. If my friend don't have another option for make tourist <laughs> for visit, I think okay, you can you you can come to to El Salvador. For me, um, Monte Cristo uh, area in Metapan. Uh no, uh, Mount or oh, Mountain, Mountain Monte Cristo. Mountain Monte Cristo is is as beautiful like beautiful as beach, but the Mountain Monte Cristo for me is better, 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 better. Because uh, the 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 weather is is cold and don't have mosquitoes and it's beautiful uh, have beautiful flower few beautiful uh, Hector I don't recommend her, uh, this place uh, from the mosquito no uh, don't have mosquitoes never never when I visited never watch mosquitoes a lot snake but not mosquitoes 
Okay. I love okay. the snake. I love the snake. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> okay. How about it's how about you guys? Listen. It's dangerous place. <laughs> it's dangerous. Okay, I have Hector, Ivan, Isabel. And Herman, I think mm -hmm. Lucy, I'm not sure if she can participate. I think that she's a little bit sick. So I want to everybody provide ideas. I want to everybody talk. Okay. 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 Thank Perfect. you. Very Thank you. Then, then Hector, mm -hmm. no, no recommend the beach no i think i don't think i don't think so it's yeah. beautiful but it's better the mountain but it's better the mountain for me for me yes i agree with you the problem is the travel you need a better you need a better trans and uh, better Car? I don't know. Car. Better, better. This place is uh, Portezuelo. Portezuelo oh. is a place where I don't like because I don't like the cold weather. But if you like that, but you are Europe, Europe from Europa, Europa, and if you like the the cool the cool weather. It's, uh, it's good for you. It's Portezuelo is the place. Portezuelo is... Portezuelo is... Um, is as cool than uh, El Pital. They are similar. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to visit uh, this place. This place. Um, what places you don't uh, suggest to me to visit or what places I I should I should to avoid yeah. my house <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I want to say another place, uh, but I I don't know how to formulate the, the sentence. But I want to say you can't visit the Lago La Mesa because it's the person. <laughs> the person <laughs> oh, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Yeah. Okay, Magdalena, can you? Meaning about the Lago de Mesa. I don't know where, where it is. is. <laughs> Magdalena? <laughs> what? Where is this place? Uh, okay. The Lago de Mesa. You have to visit the Lago de Mesa. You have to visit me. And you have to avoid visit those places where. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's, the class is being recorded. Okay, be careful. <laughs> yes, teacher, the Lago La Mesa is a place, it's a uh -huh. restaurant. Yes, uh, is that. Okay, what kind of restaurants are you talking about? We are, speaking, we are speaking about the restaurant of uh, of um, lakes, fish, yeah, lakes, fish. My 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 wife is angry <laughs> because, because she knows because she knows. this she is discussing with my son, with my son and <laughs> in the backyard you can you can listen. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I di I didn't understand nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's better. It's better that you better not. Yeah, you better. This is not. better. Okay, Nelson, Christian, continue. Give me more sentences. Yes. 
I don't recommend you to visit uh, San Miguel because it's colder than San Salvador. And I recommend you visit San Salvador for that reason. Okay. And okay. also, if you like the cold weather, you can visit uh, Los Naranjos or Apaneca, for example. There is good uh, food. Is the food is the food is as good as San Salvador food? Okay. So uh, the uh, the most hot uh, the most hot place in El Salvador is San Miguel. Is good? Is it right? It's a superlative because it's, if it is a superlative, it's the most beautiful. But before, maybe we have to say because has the most beautiful because has. Has the See? most beautiful? Yeah, has the, the most, most beautiful, beautiful view. view. Yeah. Uh, the in all okay, has the most beautiful view. Okay. Most Thank beautiful you. view. What else? Uh, view, yes. Could be. I recommend my friends go to the. Uh, the so rest of the, the, the uh, ship as. Uh, no, how do you say no? How what is the name that when you uh, when you at the beginning when you uh, start the the la libertad, but at the beginning they have the they are um, improved this no they are uh, I I don't know remember the, just explain explain what the word is or how how can you use it. Um, the, when they have a lot of restaurant in front of the, the beach, but it's at the... Malecón. Malecón, yes, yes, but I'm, not, <laughs> but I'm not sure, but I'm not saying in English, yeah. Malecón or... Malecón. I don't know, it's Malecón, Malecón, yes, it's, it's, it's a name. Mm, Malecón is Malecón. <laughs> yes, I recommend my friend go to Malecón because it's the best place to, to listen um, is the best place to listen music uh, in uh, yes. The, yes the combo music <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. trio music yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 my friend is Europe he, he knows to know the the our culture <laughs> it's a good idea yeah maybe <laughs> but for me for me uh, uh, Tunco Beach is the best the best place to do surf for me. Yes, because is now the Tunco Beach is the is is a uh, commercial. Yeah, it's a commercial is a commercial and 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 touristic and place. Tourist, touristic place. Yeah. yeah. Actually, like a week or week and a half ago. Uh, there was a championship, surf championship. Yeah. Or a surf Correct. competition. Have you ever practiced surf? Yes. You, Erica? I do surf. Wow. I love <laughs> to stay on the beach. It's your favorite I place. Love to be it's there. the best place in all the world. <laughs> <laughs> For me, of course. I recommend I don't my. Have any doubt about it? <laughs> <laughs> I recommend have my friends. Have you ever practiced surf? Surf or skate. Yes, surf or skate. No, I never practiced. You no, have to because surf. Because it's for me one of the best uh, sports that I ever practiced. For me, surf really. Yes, yeah. I really love it. Okay, I, I, I say San Rain Salvador. San Salvador as is as <clears throat> sorry much uh rainer 
as la libertad. No. Framing, frame, no. Yeah. The, yes. the, the adjective is uh, the base for, remember. No, raining. Uh, yes, it is adjective. Rain, uh huh. Mm, uh, humidity, 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 I think. Uh, so, uh, mm, um, uh, I don't know. It's, it's difficult, this, this, this comparative. <laughs> No, it's better say um maybe it's uh weather. Weather the weather uh -huh. the, the weather cool or weather fresh? I don't know. Cold, I think cold. But the but but on in, in only in few few places like uh, close to the mountain. In on close to in no, on close to the beach is not is 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 good near. Yes, teacher near is the adjective. Yes, of course. Okay, I can say, um, I can say, Ilopango Slay is nearer. That nearer than nearer, nearer yeah, nearer, nearer. nearer. That uh, what the pick is lay. Mm, neater. What is next? Continue. Is neater that uh, what the pick is lay. Then neater than neater than. Uh-huh. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, uh, what, what, what beach, um, Magdaleno, do, what beach I go, uh, I sure to visit. I sure to visit. If you are a tourist, you are, you can visit El Tunco. It's wonderful. You can pay with Bitcoin. You can pay with ta with credit cards, and it's a good place. A lot of restaurant, beautiful places for a stay, and with swimming pool, air conditioning, you uh, rooms. It's a wonderful place. The that beach at El Tunco. If you don't have a lot of money, you have visit San Diego. It's more popular, is most popular than El Tunco. Okay. It's two it's two good options. Are two good options. Okay. Uh, in the in the in the El Tunco uh, are there the ways on open? Uh, what? Are there ways? 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 Tunco, el Tunco is in ways. Wave. <laughs> I don't know. Wave. Okay. Uh, wave. Yes. <laughs> For surfing, wave maybe in the, in the yeah. sea, el mar, ola del mar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, wave. they are all very good. It's a, okay. it's the better place for surfing. Oh, okay. there are the biggest waves. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. A uh, white place uh, I should to avoid. Another place that. Uh, what place? What places? The Flower Road. Did you? No. What places? Uh, avoid you should flower. avoid. Ah, it's a boy. Mm -hmm. But the time. Sap. It's, a... <laughs> it's a 
Okay, we don't compare San Salvador for, to La Libertad. Too much gossip, too much gossip. <laughs> Let's go back to the main room, please. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for our classmates. All right, all right. Always a lot of gossips. <laughs> oh my goodness. How was the practice, guys? Easy or difficult? Difficult. They're funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, okay, let's wait for everyone. I, I have some people still in the breaking rooms. Could you answer the two scenarios? No. Yes? No. <laughs> Why not? A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of gossip, right? <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult for me. It's difficult to avoid gossip. It's the long yeah. topic. <laughs> yeah, I could see that you were very inspired. It's because it's Friday. Yes. Maybe well, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what you know what happens is because you started to talk about beach. So when you talk about that, it's like, hey, let's talk about fun. <laughs> so I think that that's because. But look, excellent job. I was listening to some teams, like they were trying a lot to use the a uh, comparative adjectives they were trying to use us and us so love it i love that now little details that as always we need to improve and we need to pay attention on this let's check it out some sentences first of all what is the pronunciation of this word europe europe europe, europe. okay europe Look at this sentence. Portezuelo is a school than El Pital. Is that correct? No, no. it's cooler. It's a, no. Portezuelo is it's cooler, cooler than El Pital. So sorry. Okay, so Portezuelo is as cooler than El Pital, like this? Huh? As cooler as. Huh? No, no, as cool as El Pital. Ah. Oh. Is cooler than El Pital. That's the correct one. Exactly. Because remember, if you use as the adjective doesn't need changes anymore. And I never Hola. said I never said the name. <laughs> okay, Hola. so Magdaleno, you you exhibit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand Teacher. nothing. Yes. But is is possible to say Portezuelo is no Portezuelo. Is cooler than El Pital? Of course, that's another. So I, I, I refer it is Portezuelo is it have a um, comfortable weather. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, both are correct depending on what's the idea that you want to express. Uh -huh. If you want uh -huh. to say that they are the same, so we can use this one as cool as. But if you want to say that Portezuelo it's like superior than mm -hmm. El Pital, in that case, you use this one. So it depends on what's the idea that you want to express. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. You. You're welcome. I didn't understand nothing. What is that? Is that correct? I, not. I didn't understand nothing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so do you remember the topic that we studied? Double negative? Double negative. Yes, it's anything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So here you have two options. So you can say, I didn't understand anything, or what is the other option? I understand nothing. Mm, but look. I didn't understand. Mm. I understood nothing. nothing. Uh -huh. I 
understood nothing. Remember, we say understood because the sentence is in simple past. Okay? So be careful with the double negatives, please. Now, let the next one, the most hot place. Hotter. The hottest place. Hotter. 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 Ah, so Hotter. look, is a short or long adjective? Short. It's short. It's short. So I cannot use must with no. short adjectives. So we have to say the Hooter. hottest. The hottest place. Uh -huh. Now the I was TV listening. Malecon. Yes, teacher, thank you. <laughs> Bur <Burl. laughs> <laughs> I say my like Malecon. Bur Bur walk. <laughs> yeah, boardwalk. I'm going to show you a picture. Look. So oh. boardwalk means that the floor here is made of wood, for example, look, and it's next to the beach. So people can walk over there and normally there are restaurants, a, a lot of businesses. So it's very popular for tourism and normally it's very crowded. So that's the meaning for Malecon Boardwalk. Got it? Yes? Yes, thank you. Ma Malecon in English is Boardwalk. 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 Yes. Boardwalk. Exactly. Do we have a Boardwalk here in El Salvador? La libertad. Yes, yes, we have yes. El, el malecón. Exactly. Yeah, we have El malecón, right? So yeah, that's the one. Now look at the next one. Oh, and talking about that word, what is the pronunciation? Okay, we need to check the difference, guys, between this sound versus this sound okay when i say ella how can i say ella in english she, she. she. okay she. we use this sound Shh. okay it's like when you say Shh. it's like very soft she shoes right but how can i pronounce this one this one is like when you sneeze, it's like ch, right? Like when you say chucho, let's see, let's say chucho in English. <laughs> well, in Spanish, right? Chucho, chucho. say it. Chucho. chucho. Do we say chucho or do we say chucho? ¿Cómo lo decimos? Chucho. chucho. Ah, <laughs> entonces usamos ese sonido, ch. Si se fijan es más fuerte, es como que si estuviéramos estornudando, chucho. Y la lengua toca nuestro cielo de la boca. A ver, hagan el sonido y fíjense si su lengua toca el cielo de la boca. Cha, 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 Toca el, la lengua su cielo de la boca y eso no. Chucho, 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 right? Cuando pronunciamos este sonido, la lengua no toca nuestro cielo de la boca. A ver, digan she. She. She, she. ¿Sienten que she. la lengua topa? ¿Sí o no? She, she, she. No, right? No. So that's the difference. Ahora, si se fijan en esa palabra, ¿cuál sonido lleva? ¿Este o este? ¿Ch o sh? The second one. Sh. Are you sure? Bish. Bish. Yeah, bish. Look. Yeah. Bish. What is West pronunciation? Bish, bish is the, the bad word. <laughs> That's what I want to say. If you go to the dictionary, let me open up it here. Um, let me try to do it bigger. Look, and this is something that you have to be careful. I know that there is like a bad word, okay? And we have to be careful with that. The difference is not the ch sound. The difference is the e sound. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Beach. Beach. So do you listen beach or do you listen beach? 
Beach. 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 I'm going to play. Beach. Now, pay Beach. attention in the bad word. Okay, I'm going to play it because it's necessary. <laughs> okay, but because we have to learn it. Listen. Bitch. Bitch. What is the difference? Uh, the pronunciation is Beach. more, uh, more, more uh, 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 what is harder? It's a little bit. And listen, the difference here is the letter I. When I'm talking about the place, the letter E, beach, is a little bit longer. When I'm saying the bad word, the letter I sounds like shorter. That's the difference. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Got it or not got it? Yes. Yes. Look at the Absolutely. symbol. Si se fijan en los símbolos, yo sé que eso es fonética y eso pues no lo hemos visto. Así que fíjense en el símbolo que representa la CH. Look. Ahora, cuando decimos la bad word, fíjense en el sonido que representa la CH. ¿Es el mismo? ¿Sí o no? Uh -huh. Look. Es como una T como con una S. Y acá es como una T, como una S. So, el símbolo es, es el mismo. Por lo tanto, la CH suena para ambas. La diferencia no va a ser el CH. La diferencia es la letra I. Hablando del place, decimos beach. Beach. Cuando queremos decir la mala palabra, es más corto. Y la I empieza a sonar como que si le vamos tirando a una E. Y decimos Bitch. Can you see the difference? Beach, bitch. Yes. Got it? Yes? Yes. So let's practice because sometimes I'm listening that you said the bad word. Sometimes I'm listening that you say beach. Mm, let's keep in mind that. Now, the next sentence San Salvador is as much rainy as La Libertad. Can I say that? What do you think? It's a mistake. Why? Uh -huh. Here you have two options. Y lo que me gustó es que estaban intentando usar el as much. Y eso está super good. All right? But remember, si usamos much, necesito un adjective o un noun. Noun. It's adjective. a noun. Ok, uh -huh. listen, si usamos much, ya no es un adjective, es un noun el que yo necesito. So in this case, rainy is an adjective or is that a noun? It's an adjective. Exactly. Adjective. So what do I need to do? Change it. Instead rain. of rain, we have to say, uh, instead of rainy, we have to say rain. rain. However, here, I don't need the verb to be. I need to say has. Si se acuerdan en el ejercicio que hicimos o en el ejemplo que les mostré, para hacerlo negativo usábamos el auxiliary. So, San Salvador has as, mo uh, as much rain as la libertad. Okay? That's the way that we have to do it. Because if you say is, ¿cómo lo traducirían? San Salvador is as much rain as la libertad. Translation, please. San Salvador es como San Salvador es, es, es bastante lluvioso como la libertad. Mm, es líder? tan lluvia, es tan ah, lluvia como la libertad. Es tan es, lluvia. Es tan lluvia como la libertad. That makes sense. Mm -mm. Mm. So, si le cambiamos al verbo have, we say San Salvador tiene. Tanta lluvia como la libertad. la libertad. Okay? So remember, in this case, when we are using nouns, we need to change, instead of saying is, we need to change the verb. Now, next one, few plays. Can I say that? Few places. Few places, remember, plural. 
I should to visit. I should have to visit. I should have to visit. I should visit. I do should I need visit. do I need a preposition to to separate should and visit? We don't. No. Uh -huh. So that's the idea. Remember, should, well, we haven't studied that uh, topic here in the class, but should is a modal. The modal are a little bit special. So after the modal, I don't need a preposition to, to separate the verbs. Understood? Yes? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yes? I have a doubt. Go ahead. If I want to say, should I to visit is, should I visit or should I to visit? Oh, in this case, look at this. I would like, okay, look at this. Would is the modal, like is the verb. So I don't need the preposition to separate would and like. However, after like, you are putting a verb, visit. So like is not a modal. So do I need the preposition here? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So in this case, you have to say, I would like to visit. Okay? Okay. Francisco, do you have a question? Yes, teacher, uh, but uh, three sentences before <laughs> with There's a no problem. difference Go ahead. between a sh and sh in the case from the, the page, I, I, I read shit, but confused with another, another bad, bad word. Ah. <laughs> but it, ah. in this case, what the difference? You are Between talking about the, this versus <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. like like this. I'm going to write it like this. Uh huh. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In this All case. Right. Okay. The difference is exactly similar to the previous one. This is the difference. This it's one's double e. Double e. Yes. Okay. Hold on, uh, Erica. What do you say? For me, I, I use heat, uh, heat mucho, a mucho, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the this one or this one? <laughs> <laughs> the first one. Ah, For okay. me, the, the, the double E is longer than the another word. Exactly like that's the difference. Oh, you got okay. it. Okay. So this is like E. E. Uh-huh. Another is like A. E. E. Similar, exactly. So this ah. one is shorter. Okay. The difference, the difference is not in in e h and s h. E, the no. difference is the the, the, the vowel. The vowel. Uh -huh. Exactly. So that you happens can... with the word beach and the other one. So uh -huh. the, the the point is the vowel sounds. That is the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, it's time to interview people. I, I want to ask into someone. Uh -huh. Do I have volunteers or randomly? <laughs> ah, randomly, okay, no problem. Let's do it randomly. Okay, I'm going to be your friend from Europe. Okay, I don't look like a Euro Europe person, but <laughs> I'm going to be your friend from Europe. Let's imagine that I am Italian, okay? Because I like pasta. So let's see who is going to talk to me and recommend some places. Can you see the whiteboard? Yes? Yes, we can. Sure. Okay, the winner is da, 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 da. Erica. Okay, hello, Erica. Oh, I'm going to call her. Ring. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Erica. This is me, Clarissa, <laughs> your friend from Italy. How are you? 
I'm good. Nice to hear you again. How you been yeah. doing? Yeah, it's been a long time. I got some news for you. Yeah, what? I'm on vacation and I want to visit El Salvador. So I'm asking for some recommendation and I know you live there. So can you tell me which places or cities? Where should I go? And also please tell me which places I should avoid because I know that El Salvador is a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Why are I you laughing? You're going to come back again. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead, tell me. If you like the beach. <laughs> <laughs> the what? <laughs> the beach. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, I liked it. You should go to the Tunco Beach. <laughs> I was reading about Costa del Sol, so which one should I visit? But it's better the Tunco Beach. Why? You, you have a, a lot of restaurants with uh, the food is more delicious than Costa del Sol restaurant mm, okay <laughs> you have a lot of waves too do you like to do surf yeah a little bit i'm not so good at it but yeah why not actually you can learn there really yes <laughs> okay <laughs> i don't know why you are laughing a lot it's because you are so happy to hear me <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm so happy to hear you yeah, I like the, those kind of friends that I need. Okay, so Tunka Beach liked it. Can you recommend me a place that I should avoid? Actually, nowadays it's a little bit more, it's a little safer than before, but you should be able to avoid. So Yapango. <laughs> Dangerous places. Yeah. Control territorial. Control territorial. The Sogecho is don't come here. <laughs> but uh, I, I see some people got offended with that come <laughs> all right but i will I'm keep sorry. i will keep it in mind thank you erica you know i have okay. some other friends in el salvador so i will ask them too but thank you okay. <laughs> nice, nice. To you. yeah thank you okay super good erica because even when you make some mistakes you you corrected yourself so that's great because you are identifying your own mistakes so you correct them Great. Okay, I'm going to call to my other friend because I want to listen to different point of view. So I'm going to call to Herman. Definitely ring. Ring. Hello. Hello, Herman. It's me, Clarissa from Italy. Do you remember me? Yes, I remember. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? I am happy. I'm got, I got some news. I will travel to El Salvador. So you are Salvadorian, right? Yes. Great. Can you give me some recommendations? I, I can you, I, I can give you a recommendation for a, the Pital. Uh -huh. is, the, is the mountain is the most beautiful place uh, in El Salvador. So El Pital is the same uh, than Portezuelo? Is the same place or they are different? A little bit different, but it's a uh, uh, forest. Okay. So which one should I go? I mean, should I go to Portezuelo or to El Pital? What is the difference? The difference is the Pital is more cold than uh, Portezuel. More cold? Yes. Okay. Okay. What else? Is uh, 
highest? Which one is highest? The pital. Oh, el pital is highest? Yes. Okay. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. So I will visit El Pital, thank you. Welcome. All right, let's see, I'm going to call the last person, the last friend that I have here in my agenda. Let's see. Magdaleno. Okay, ring. Hey, hello. Hello, Magdaleno. This is Clarissa. I'm your friend. Do you remember? Yes, from the high school, right? <laughs> I'm not I'm not so old, but yes. I am young. I'm going to visit El Salvador. So I don't know where I should stay. Is if in San Salvador or La Libertad? So what is the difference between those departments? It depends what you are looking for. Mm -hmm. what, you are lo what you are looking for, you are looking for fun and the city or for fun and the ocean and the beach? <laughs> well, actually I'm looking for everything, so. Okay. And then I need a nice weather. I need good restaurants. Uh, I need a safe place, of course, <laughs> but not so noisy. Okay, you can you can stay in a in a hotel on San Salvador. On San Salvador, yeah. um, there are good places and travel to La Libertad at. Um, um, every day in the morning, visit South City, you can visit uh, Sunset Park, you can visit my dog. <laughs> <laughs> which which department has a better weather? If you are from Italy, maybe in your opinion could be um, San Salvador is uh, San Salvador, San Salvador is as less um, hot. Hot is correct. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. As as as, as uh, San Salvador is um, cooler than La Libertad. Is that in Italy? I know that is cooler the weather, cool the weather, is right? Yeah, sometimes. I don't and know. Then... I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> you are okay. so gay. <laughs> okay, but let's stop there. Let's stop there. Okay, if you see guys, imagine that this is a real call. What do you think? Is it easy to answer this type of call? Yes or no? No, it's for me, no. I don't have 14 friends, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now look, uh, this is a practice that you can have. Believe me, when I was studying, I didn't have people I could practice with. So do you know what I did? I just practiced with myself. I played role plays with myself. Believe me, I did it. And it works for me. <laughs> so if you don't have someone like you can practice with, Try to talk, make some knowledge with yourself or imagine you have your hair, um, you're a team. If you have free time, suddenly you can call each other on WhatsApp and have a mini conversation of five minutes. Okay. Cuando los agarro así a quemar ropa, se me ponen nerviosos. No es lo mismo cuando practicamos las preguntas y luego las repetimos. Yeah, but... Cuando ya aparece una conversación real, empezamos a, like, what's happening? I don't know what to say, okay? So be careful, let's practice, let's practice. Now, in this scenario, look at the sentences that I heard. More cold, can I say that? No. What is the correct one? 
colder. Yes, colder. that's the one. Remember, short adjective, so colder. El pital is highest. What is missing here? Yeah. Yes. The highest. Remember, the article that is the highest. On San Salvador. In. 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 So then I was listening is as less as. Look, less. What happens here with less? Well, see, no. Less is, is, uh, no, it's it's short. It's superlative. Inferiority. Yeah. No, competitive. Okay, in this case, is in the base form the adjective? No. 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 Right? So that is what I want you to remember, guys. If you use as, so you cannot use the adjective in the comparing form. What is the basic form of less? A little. Little, little exactly. Mm -hmm. So when you use as, adjective in the base form. Got it? Yes? Yes. I will call you more uh, more frequently, okay? <laughs> so maybe during the class, I will have to make more phone calls like this, okay? So I wanted to practice real conversations. Now, I'm going to continue, but first let's check attendance. When you listen to your names, say present. Eh, Adriana Escalante? Present. Okay, Carlos Abrego? Great. Christian Alexander. Present too. Okay. Erika Jasmine. Present. Great. Fatima Denise. Okay. Eh, Germán Alexander. Present. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Great. Eh, Isabel Hernández. Present, Miss. Great. Iván Guzmán. Presence. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Holman Giron. Present, yes. Excellent. Lucy Natalie. Present. Great. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. Okay, and Rosalina Alvarado. All right, now, oh my gosh, it's very late. Okay, now we are going to, the idea is to give suggestions, all right? We are going to combine these topics of comparative and all those things to give suggestions, and we are going to include the phrases of certainty. How can we give suggestions using those phrases? I will give you the examples. We are going to see some conversations and then we are going to have the same role play. I will give you the scenarios and you have to give me some suggestions about what I can do. Okay, can you see what I'm sharing? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Let's listen to some conversations and please try to identify the certainty expressions. Let's see. Here I got a conversation. Let's start with this one. I'm going to play the audio so you can listen to the pronunciation. Hello, the and then we are going, oh, be careful with the microphones. Thank you. So I'm going to play the audio in order that you listen to the conversations, then identify the phrases. Microphones off, everybody. And pay attention, here we go. I was thinking about applying for the new position. Do you think that is a good idea? It seems like a good idea, but I'm not really sure. What are your main concerns? Well, it would give me a chance to grow, but I'm wondering if I would like the job. I know what you mean. I've thought about that myself. I also am thinking about the pay. Could you take a slight pay decrease for a chance to move forward? Yes, it might be worth it, but I'm not certain. 
I think I'm convinced that trying for this position is the best choice for you. Could you listen to the conversation? Yes. What's the conversation about? About a new job. Applying for a new job or a new position? A new, new position. position. It's a, a new position. Yes. Okay, let's try to identify some expressions. Certainty and uncertainty. Which ones can you identify here? You no, said no. I'm not really sure. really sure. Ah, very good. What is that? It's about certainty or uncertainty? Uncertainty. 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 So this is like, I'm not sure, right? I'm not really sure. What else? I am not certain. I am not certain. Perfect. What else? Mm -hmm. Any other the one? one? I I think I I'm convinced. Very good. Yeah. Look, I'm convinced. Right. So good. What else? I thought about that myself. I don't. Think I've thought about myself. Hmm, okay, sounds like a cer uncertainty, yeah. But it's not so common to use this one. But even though I can mark it. Now, if you want to express uncertainty, you can also use different expressions like, I was thinking about, okay. I'm wondering if, so those are expressed in uncertainty too, okay? Take note, you are going to use these phrases, everyone. Okay, so I'm not really sure, I'm not certain, I'm convinced, but also you can use these phrases like, I was thinking, I'm wondering, okay? Now, did you take note? Yes? Good. Yes. Uh, I want to take a screenshot. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Let me know when you're done. And now I want you to see also the kind of questions that this person asks. Like, do you think that is a good idea? Okay, look at the other one. What are your main concerns? Okay, now let's see another conversation and let's see what the difference is. But let's see. Pay attention, I'm going to play the audio for the second conversation. I am not certain, but I think I might ask to be considered for the new job. Why are you considering trying for it? I think that I might like it, but I'm still thinking about it. What is it about this job that appeals to you? I think that I would enjoy the position, but there isn't a lot of creativity involved. Yes, you could be right. There is a lot to consider. I am also wondering about the pay. Would a slight decrease in pay be worth it for a new opportunity for growth? I'm thinking that might be the case. I think you should give it a shot. What do you have to lose? You can always change your mind. What's this conversation about? I'm not certain. I'm gonna know you all. Yes. So, can you again identify some uncertainty or certainty expressions? Yes, yeah, I am not I'm certain. Not certain. I'm not certain. Very good. What else? I'm still thinking about it. Correct. Very good. What else? Can you see another one? To be considered. Uh, um, Which one? May, 
maybe yes you could be right yes okay that sounds like uncertainty like yeah could be right but also look at this one there is a lot to consider mm, mm. yeah there is a lot to consider right what else I am also wondering about I'm also wondering. Mm -hmm. I heard another one. What do you say? I'm thinking that mine. I'm thinking. So if you see these people, they are asking for suggestions because they say, hey, I'm, I don't know what to do, right? I want to have a new job. I'm applying for it. So the other person they are trying to give in suggestions about what they should do in this case what is the final solution what is the suggestions that the friend i, I imagine that they are friend what is the last suggestions that she provided i think you should give it a shot aha uh -huh. look but in this case look i think so it's not like they are pretty sure about it they are still sharing some certainty expression so i think you should give it a shot okay so we can use and this is the main point here you can use these expressions when you are trying to give suggestions okay and for example when you go and ask for advice for example you can also use this one hey you know what guys i'm not certain about this i want to ta -ta 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 -ta. or you know everybody i'm i live in italy <laughs> i'm still thinking if i should go to el salvador or not I have heard different comments from myself, from, from my friends. I know that there is a lot to consider. So you see, I'm trying to use these expressions to keep a conversation. Exactly. Got it? Just a question. Go ahead. Today, a customer told me, just give me a break to think about it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same from the last certain phrase. Actually, yes, because remember, if he's asking, like, give me a break, it's just telling you that he needs time in order to think about it. Okay. Yeah. So, again, take note of the phrases. We are going to need it. Ready? Yes. Okay. Now... Oh my gosh, what happens is that we don't have a lot of time, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. Okay, let's see the last conversation and then I think that we will be able to see at least one scenario. The last conversation, microphones off, please. Pay attention. I'm considering going for the new job that was posted yesterday. Are you certain that that is what you wanna do? It may not be the best choice for me, but I am considering it. Why do you think this would be a good move? I believe that this job would allow me to move up, but might be a little boring for me. Yes, there are always pros and cons to making a career change. Also, the matter of pay is also a consideration. I think the slight pay decrease might be worth it. The benefits are much better. Yes, sometimes giving up a little to move forward is the best choice. I think you should definitely apply for the position. What is the scenario here? Mm -hmm. Applying for a new job. Uh, uh, applying for a new job. Great. Okay, what are the phrases that you can identify here? Consider. I'm considering. I'm considering. Mm -hmm. Are you certain? Look, we can even ask questions, right? Not only affirmative or negative, we can ask questions. Are you certain that you want to travel to El Salvador? <laughs> okay, what else? I am, I am considering, considering it. I'm considering it. Very good. 
What else? I believe. I believe. Uh huh. So imagine, what should I do in El Salvador? Um, I believe that Santana is a good place. Right? What else? Do you What's think? Different is different? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Uh, I listen to people at the same mm -hmm. time. Go ahead, Mira. Go ahead. No, no, no. Just, just. Uh, do you think is? Is oh, that, that's a question do too. Do you think is that a good idea? Definitely. Or you can include mm -hmm. the WH word. Why do you think that Santa Ana is a good option? Right? Erika, what were you saying? Just a question. For me, I have a little problem with I believe and I trust. For me, it's the same, but it, I don't know if it is correct. I believe that or I trust in that what happens is that belief is just the ideas that you may have about something right it's like a belief and i trust is like you put your trust in someone so that's a little bit the difference like belief oh. is more like what you think is lo que crees you believe in something but trust okay. confian in alguien so that's the difference Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other phrase that you can identify here? I think. Which one? Can you repeat, please? I think you definitely. Okay, I think or I think you Definitely should. Definitely should. Right? That's a good one. Definitely. So, where's, you know what? Where is translation, teacher? Yo creo que definitivamente deberías. Debería da, 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 da. Aplicar. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, definitely, it's a very nice word. Any other one? The definition about the slide page. The which one? The slide page. I think the, the slide page. The slide page. Slide. Letter B. I think the slide page. Oh, slide page decree. Slide means a little difference. So that means that the payment, what happens with the payment? The pay will be a little bit, just a little bit different. In the new job, she will receive less money. Mm -hmm. So slight means a little different, but little, not so much. Okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, again, take notes or screenshot or whatever you want, but keep in mind these phrases. We are going to use them, okay? Ready? Teacher, yes, sir. Could you back at the, the second conversation, please? The sure. previous conversation. The, the second? previous one? Yes. This one? Yes. Okay, yes, but let me, let me erase the marks. Yes, okay. thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. I have the screenshot, so if you could send it. Do it, please. Yes. Thank you, Eric. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have more time, but tomorrow we are going okay. to see some tomorrow. scenarios. No, right? I'm no, no, tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> I you need see, a sleep. I, I love you so much, guys, that I want to be with you even during the weekend, <laughs> you see? I'm sorry. Okay, on Monday, we are going to see some scenarios and you will give me some suggestions using those phrases. I'm not telling you the scenarios yet. I will tell you until Monday. And again, we'll, we'll pretend that we have a phone call. So you have to answer in me, okay? So be ready because I want to call to all of you, all right? Now, uh, just before leaving, remember, work on the platform. Some of you already started, so great job. Some others, zero on the platform. So guys, please, don't leave it at the last time. Uh, do you have any questions before leaving? We can go to the bed. 
<laughs> yes, but not all of you. There is a winner for today. And you know, it's, it's my friend, Erika. I, I, I want to continue talking to her, you know? <laughs> so everybody can go and Erika should stay, all right? So everybody have a beautiful weekend. Take care. See you on Monday. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 See you. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Good night. Good night. My friend Erika, she has to stay. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> what happened is that so dark. I'm and... sorry. Uh, the light is. <laughs> ah, okay. Didn't resist the pressure. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, goodbye, guys. Take care. Okay, Erika, let's start because I don't want to take like a lot of time. Okay. I know that you might be tired. Do you know that this meeting is just to talk a little bit? So yeah. do you have any questions about the class, about the platform? Any comments that you may have? <laughs> so, or you know, I love the adrenaline. I just <laughs> I do some from the last day. <laughs> I know, yeah, I like that. I don't know what you are, guys, you are drinking a lot of coffee before the class i guess i'm doing it by the way so i think that that works for me too yeah but uh, any questions about the topics that we have been studying actually not now but in my case <laughs> <laughs> what in the role laughing? play i was laughing because today i was talking with a with a consumer just in english but just for it's kind of the same because he has never been here and he wants to be uh, to travel here to visit here because he heard the news so that is like safer about yes ah that's and great that's i was laughing <laughs> okay between but... the accounts and the payment arrangement we were talking about to visit el salvador <laughs> nice so you could yes. convince him <laughs> yes, actually, he told me that he's going to come in, on August. On in August, August. Uh, he he told me the day, the specific day, but I don't ah, remember. That's great. So you see, <laughs> yes. nice. If I were from Italy, maybe you could convince me <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice job. Nice job. I liked it. So, how did you feel the topic with comparatives using us and us? Is that easy or a little bit complicated? It's a little bit easy because at the end of the letters that I wrote. Mm -hmm. I use a, uh, can you please check this account as soon as possible and, and da, 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 mm -hmm. and the rest of that. So, the things. Yes. Yeah, these phrases are very common to use, especially for you that you are working in a bilingual account, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't speak only Spanish, you have to speak in English too. So these yes. phrases will be useful for you. Now imagine again, I want to visit, <laughs> uh, some people say, San Miguel is the hottest department in the Salvador. Yes. But how about Usulután? Can you compare San Miguel and Usulután? What is the difference or are they similar? For me, Usulután uh, is as hot as San Miguel for me. It's as hot. Do you think that they are the same? Hmm. Yeah, for me, they're. And does Usulután have. What is the word? Beach. <laughs> That's a little bit funny because it, it reminds me when I was 13 or 14 because I never said teacher in the right way. I always say, or teacher, <laughs> or <laughs> I never said it in, in, the, in the good way. So that made me. It's very, it's very common, you know, because here in Spanish, we don't have those sounds. I mean, we have the CH sound, but not the SH. So it's yes. different. That's why it's a little bit complicated. I understand. It's actually, I bought uh, a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And that happens, that happens to basics. In basics levels, when I'm teaching the the topic about clothes they say i'm wearing a teacher and i'm like oh, okay 
yeah. actually I bought this this t-shirt. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Let me check. Let me send it to the chat. Okay. From internet, of course. Because I love to shop online. <laughs> okay, That's let me see. Ah, I like that t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. those kind of phrases that when they combine different words, but they combine perfectly because they have the same pronunciation. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pretty good. I, I, I played or I, I, laugh, I laugh a lot with the beer, burn, and bird. <laughs> it is like, uh, yeah, and leaf and, and leaf and beef. Yeah, all in it is beef and beef <laughs> or beef or I don't know. I know. Yeah, yeah it's pretty fun. So, uh, phonetics is a very nice yes. subject. I know that you are um, you always study by yourself, and that's the way that you have been learning the languages. So, phonetics is a subject that I highly recommend you because it's going to help you a lot. And it's pretty fun. I mean, it's very interesting subjects. So you're going to start studying that. Yes, actually, um, I, I, if I'm not wrong, I told you that I was learning Japanese too, right? Yeah, you told yes. me. I learned uh, two words pretty, pretty similar because it's Obasan and Obasan. Ah, it's so you Obasan see. Obasan and Obasan. Ah, yes. and what is the meaning of those words? Obasan is, is grandmother, and Obasan is a kind of a sister, but not exactly like a pretty close friend. You see how yes. just a small pronunciation can change the meaning of the word. <laughs> yes. like Actually, avocado, avocado and book in Japanese, it sounds pretty similar. No way, really. Really similar. Okay, yes. let's see. I want to hear that. <laughs> no, it's it's so so difficult to say it. <laughs> it's Come on. Bocato. Bocato. Wow. And for Bolivia, the uh -huh. the word Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so you can say that I, that you are reading a, an avocado. <laughs> reading a book. Oh my goodness, be careful with that. And people is, <laughs> why are you reading an avocado? <laughs> yes. Okay, pretty yes. nice. Okay, Erika, yeah. it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for always keeping smiling. <laughs> I love that. Yes. And always you are ready to participate. I like your energy and the feedback that I had for you is very positive. You are doing great. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. So Thank keep, you so much. Actually, I'm really happy to you being uh, my teacher again oh, because you. You, you teach me a lot in, in a few hours you teach me a lot <laughs> what I feel you. You know, how to explain it I'm really happy I'm really, really happy <laughs> Thank that you. you're with me again <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy to believe me I totally enjoy this class even the time is harder I mean, yes. I'm tired because I have classes during the day, but this is one of my favorite. I really enjoyed it. So <laughs> thank you for being like that. <laughs> okay, no, well, you, I will let you go to sleep. So have a beautiful weekend. Don't forget to work on the platform, please. And see <laughs> yes. you on Monday. Okay? See you, bye-bye. Good Take night. Care. Good night. Bye.